Howdy folks, and welcome back to War Thunder with the Mighty Jingles. This match, bit of an epic fail, uh, because it was an epic match, but it was still a fail. In more ways than one, I'd actually forgotten that I was uh, running the game on movie graphics settings, which is as high as everything will go. And that's not a good idea, even with a powerful graphics card, if you're running video capture software at the same time, because I kept getting screen freezers as the computer just struggled to keep up with what I was demanding of it. And luckily, the screen freezers didn't directly lead to any of my deaths. You're going to see one coming up right now. There you go. Whew, that was lucky. Nobody near me when I just... The game just froze. At first I thought the game had crashed, and then I realised what it was. Ah, oh, crap. I was recording some beauty shots earlier, and <laughs> I'd left it on custom movie detail settings, so that could have been dangerous. Managed to get away with it though. Now, I'm using these little Russians with uh, armor-piercing incendiary tracer ammo. The incendiary ammo will actually allow you to continue doing damage. It'll set these little buggers on fire. Not entirely sure if it's the best ammo to be using on these things, but it's what I have, so... There's my first kill. Now, I'm only using tier 0 and 1 aircraft. There are higher tier aircraft than that in this game, but I don't think anything higher than tier 3. In fact, I don't even think there's any tier 3s, it just seems to be zeros, ones and twos. So, very competitive matchmaking. And these reserve aircraft battles, even though this is Ground Strike and Africa Canyon, it's never decided by who kills all the ground targets. These are air combat games. So there's one kill. Cut my throttle so I can turn it inside him. He's flying inverted. Alright, keep pumping the shots into him. He looks like he's going to go into the canyon wall, but you never know. Yep, he's down. There's my second kill. Who's next? Go for a reload while there's nobody shooting at me. Other than the flak. Flak is very, very dangerous at these low tiers. These aircraft are very fragile. Flak can just knock them out of the sky in one shot. Now I see two of them on one of our planes over there. So, one, I'll come over and help this guy out. And two, they're probably going to be distracted. And not. Oh, he's got one of them. And he's going down. No, too slow. Couldn't get over here in time to help him out. But I can at least avenge him. And pull out, and there's my third kill. Air win streak. So, good start. Now, there is one player on the enemy team that time and time again I had an opportunity to kill. And I didn't take it. Instead I went for another target. And there's my second screen freeze. Ugh. I'm not killing this guy is going to come back and bite me in the ass. His name's Nicolay. Keep an eye on him. Back to the fight, gain a bit more altitude, start looking for easy kills. Okay, this guy's alone. Uh, which one to go for? Yeah, get the guy coming towards you. And he's not looking up. Okay. Uh, so he's back on the throttle, don't want to overshoot him. He doesn't have much support. I'll stay on him. He's going down. Bingo. Fourth kill. Throttle back up. Get rid of some of this AA. I'm going to be dogfighting over this over these anti-aircraft guns. I well, I don't want to be dogfighting over enemy anti-aircraft guns because AA only needs to get lucky once. So let's just even the odds up down here a little. I'm not actually going for ground kills here, I just want to make it a bit safer to dogfight. Oh, 
Right, that fellow's got two guys on his ass, and he's probably going to try to loop around this way. So, oh, and there's a... Now, there's that Nicolay 92 guy. At this stage, I don't know how dangerous a pilot he is. Um, if I'd gone for him here, this game might have ended very, very differently. But going after the guy at the back of the pack is the right thing to do. And there's my fifth kill. Next target up. Keeping an eye on the radar here, there are some bad guys behind me. Kill the throttle, turn inside him, watch out for friendlies. And there's five from behind, and I'm not going to stay on this guy's tail and just make myself a target. Time to break, go after somebody else. And hope that the guys behind me pick someone else. Now, coming around here, there's that Nicolay guy again. And instead of going for him, I'll stay on the tail of the guy that I'm dogfighting. Which isn't a bad idea, but... Oh, if only I'd known. Now, what I discovered at the end of this game. Man, the number of opportunities I had to kill this guy early on. And just picked a different target. But I'm up to five kills. You know, without being shot down. I'm not doing badly. And there he is again, and instead I pick, pick another target, pick an easier kill. Which is never usually a bad idea, but if I'd been paying more attention to the scoreboard at this point, I might have changed my mind, and this game could have ended so much differently. Come on. Come on. Yeah, he's going for me. Gotcha. Finally, I focus on this fella. And then, <laughs> I switch targets. But, you know, what I'm not doing here is just fixating on one target above everything else, because that gets you killed when you're in a tight dogfight like this with enemy aircraft everywhere. And there's another one. And there's another one. A nine kill air wind streak. I was on fire in this game. There's ten. <laughs> there's eleven. Oh, somebody's on me. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. That guy took a beating. Oh, he's down anyway. There's 12. And here he comes in his chica. And again! I switch targets and go after the... Oh, man. So many opportunities. Oh, somebody on my ass. Not worth the kill. Break off. Ah, some guy in a fault though. And this guy was pretty good as well. I have to give him credit. But I had so many opportunities. If, if Just with the benefit of a bit of hindsight, it's easy to sit here and say, you should have killed that Nicolay 92 guy every chance you got. And there you go, a 13 kill air win streak. But I'm feeling pretty confident at this point. A 13 kill air win streak. How can we possibly lose this match? So we'll jump in on the next reserve. And it's, it's, it's all going on in this, like, one square kilometre of map. I think right about now I'm realising, hmm, that guy that shot me down, he's actually not bad.
Right, next target. Oh, hello. Alright, this should be this should be easy enough. Taking these guys out over our airbase where we've got friendly flak to support us. And I'm not going down there alone either, so. Oh, one of them's down, only one of them left. See if I can get a cheap kill. Hit. Send down the Falco. Ooh, going a bit too fast there. Nose up, get around, wing over, dive down on him. He's got other problems than me. I'm pumping the shots in. This guy's doing absolutely everything possible to get away. Oh, careful, don't want to collide. Don't want to collide. Pull up, altitude, wing over, dive back down on him. Look at this. This was dangerous, coming down this low to get him. Didn't have much of an opportunity. And, unbelievably, that was just an assist. What had probably happened was the guy who got the kill had hit him with uh, incendiary ammo, um, which creates a small damage over time effect on the plane, and you're constantly just taking small amounts of damage. And he may have just taken a damage tick right before... He, he was destroyed, and which awards him with a kill. So, yeah, game mechanics are game mechanics. What can you do about it? Anyway, back to the fight. I don't even know how many kills I'm on now. Uh, oh, there you go. Right, who's next? Now, there's Nikolay again, and I'm keeping an eye on him now, but he's six kilometres away, so not an immediate problem. Let's maintain some altitude. Have a look and see who we should go for. And that fella down there is looking like a prime candidate. Choice of two. Uh, choice of three. Choice of four. Alright, all right. one of them is down. You'll do. And make sure I don't collide with the friendly. Pull up, get around. Uh, oh, I got the kill. Sweet. Where's that Nikolai guy? He's still a mile away. And this guy ain't paying any attention to me, so... It's... And you need to kill the throttle when you come into a steep dive like this on one of these little things, because the controls will lock up if you go too fast, and if that happens when you were going in a dive, and that's killed me a couple of times, and it nearly kills me at one point in this game. Oh, well, there's a crit, taking his tail out, and... Yeah, well, an assist's an assist, what the hell. He's dead, that's the main thing. Right, here comes Nikolai. And I don't really want to be getting into a head-on pass with him. Let's let's see if he goes for my wingmen first. They're closer, see if he takes the bait. Yeah, checking the scores. This fella is dangerous. However, he's not taking the bait and this guy's closer. And, you know, once somebody gets on your ass in the... There we go, another kill. Once somebody gets on your ass in these little, tiny little dogfighters, you're pretty much dead. You, you hardly ever manage to shake them off. Not unless, you know, experienced flight sim pilots. Yeah, but just, you know, noob gamers like us. No. And that guy crashed. And there's somebody on my ass. Oh, crap. Use a little help here, guys. I can't even see him. Where the hell is he? Hello, team. Oh, there he is. There they are. All right, that's not quite so bad now. I'm slightly better. Oh, crap. There's not just the one of them on me. Team, hello. The fight's over here. I could use some assistance. So you've seen the epic part, the monster air kill win streak. You're about to see the fail. And some of it was down to me. But mostly it wasn't. Come on, die. Die already. This guy just would not go down. Gotcha. There's another triple win streak. 
And here comes Nikolai in an SU-2. And look at that. I mean, I'm not complaining about the ram. That was both our fault. But a mid-air collision. And he's, he didn't even take critical damage in his SU-2. You've all seen the videos of the uh, the Russian fighters on YouTube flying through control towers without and taking critical damage, but not affecting their flight profile whatsoever. Yeah. So, jump into my third aircraft. And he's still down there, still zooming around in his SU-2 without a care in the world after taking a direct head-on-head mid-air collision with a biplane. <laughs> I think it's fairly safe to say that some of the flight models for these lower tier Russian aircraft are probably not finished. We'll, we'll, we'll be generous and say they're not finished. Gaijin have actually gone on record as saying that they have they have two separate development teams. Uh, one to do the Russian aircraft and one to do everything else. And apparently the two development teams don't actually talk to each other. And after seeing some of the evidence that you guys, the fans, have presented to them, they've gotten the, the the foreign development team to look at the flight models of the Russian aircraft made by the Russian aircraft development team uh, so they can compare notes and sort it the hell out and I mean I'm flying Russian aircraft in this one so I can't complain too much I, I've not noticed even these little things with critical damage I've not noticed it affect the handling too much so I'm benefiting from it in this game as much as anyone else. And what you're seeing at this stage of the match is all the... Uh, I'm going to use the word noob, but not in a derogatory sense. You know, all the newbies are dead. And all the guys that have jumped into their reserve aircraft, who've played the game a little bit more, you know, who are going seal clubbing, uh, are the only ones that are left. At least on their team. Unfortunately, my team still pretty much just consisted of the noobs. And I cannot shake this guy off my ass. I'm, I'm gonna need some help here. And, you know, doubtless any of you experienced simmers, all you hardened propeller heads are looking at what I'm doing here and spotting all sorts of mistakes. I'm trying to do a scissors here to get this guy to pass in front of my guns and it's just not happening um, but you know I'm not a hardened flight sim nut I'm, I'm just a noob gamer like everybody else trying to do what's worked for me before without knowing exactly what it is I'm doing I mean I couldn't tell you what these manoeuvres are called and I couldn't tell you whether or not it's actually a good idea to be doing these manoeuvres in this kind of aircraft I'm, just, I'm doing what is instinctive and Unfortunately, this was incredibly stupid. Why throw away your aircraft like that? That just... Getting into head-on passes is a mug's game. It just gives the other guy the opportunity to shoot back at you. But it's not the last time... It's not the last time I'm going to make that mistake. And it's still anybody's game. There's three of us left on each side. Unfortunately, look at the scores. They've got two good players. We've got me, and that's pretty much it. And you, you've got to hand it to old Epidermis over there. Uh, was decent, but this Nicolay 92 was amazingly good. And it's no shame to lose to a guy as good as him. And unfortunately loses exactly what we did. Oh, and I'm coming in too fast, and my controls are locking up, and I just, just managed to get my elevator to respond and pull up and not crash into the deck. And now, well, Epidermis is out, he's, he's lost the last of his aircraft, so it's pretty much just this Nicolay fella. Now, surely with two of us... Oh, and that was a collision with a friendly, and it's wrecked my fuselage. But, again, Russian flight models... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't affect the handling of these aircraft at all. And that's a lot of flak coming up. And this guy needs to die. This guy is dangerous. He needs to die. And I, did I get him? I critted him. Did 
damn it, he crashed. I didn't get the credit for the kill. But, um, I mean, and I've sown the seeds of my own doom here. Because that sloppy mid-air collision with Anton took out his last aircraft. And if I'd been more careful, there would have been three of us left now. And Nikolay 92 is the only guy left on the enemy team. Now, do you think I can rely on this guy to be my wingman? <laughs> no, of course not. And this was so frustrating. There's two of us, two on one. Dude, where are you? What are you doing down there? He's up here. This is his last aircraft. I've taken critical damage here. And from this point on, that is pretty much the last time I get my guns pointing even close to being in the same direction as this fella. And my remaining teammate is farming ground kills. And he's even doing a crappy job of that. Oh, this was so frustrating. So I'm, I'm looking for him. I'm, maybe if I lead Nicolay here down to him. What's he doing? Where is he? And I cannot get this guy off my ass. I just... He's too good. You! Retard! Down there! Help! And I, this guy's so good, I can't even... I can't even close the, the the distance to my friendly teammate. And then he gets his ass shot down by an armoured car! And now it's just me and Nicolay. And he's just better than I am. I mean, he's flying an undamaged aircraft, but, you know, reserve aircraft and their amazing flight models, uh, I, I can't even use that as an excuse. He's just a better pilot than I am. And looking back at this game, when I was racking up that monster kill streak at the beginning, all those opportunities I had to kill this guy before I realised how dangerous he was, and I just didn't take them. And I'm kicking myself, absolutely kicking myself. I, I just cannot get the nose of this plane pointed at him. He's just too good. And I'm trying to... Uh, no, that's it. It's just me and him now. <laughs> this is my last aircraft, and I cannot shoot him. But my only chance right now is to get him shot down by friendly anti-aircraft guns, and that means leading him back towards our airbase. But it's a long way back, and this guy is good. This, I'm doomed on. I'm not going to make it. I'm shot up. I'm trying to barrel roll, dodge his fire, but he's not stupid. He's not even wasting his shots. I mean, he may be reloading at this point, but there you go. He doesn't bother shooting at me while I'm barrel rolling all over the place. He waits until I straighten out. There we go. And it's only a matter of time. And I'm not even going to get near friendly flak. I just could not shake this guy. He was just... He was just a better player than me. So, Nikolay92, if on the slim chance that you're watching this, um, I can only salute your flying skill. A better pilot than I am. And my teammates who left me alone to face this guy when we could have ganged up on him two or three on one. I... <laughs> Hope you all die of face cancer. <laughs> just, this is. I've been playing World uh, War Thunder for three months now, and this, this was the only game that has ever managed to induce the same levels of rage that I get on a daily basis playing World of Tanks with utterly inept teammates. But. Uh, I sowed the seeds of my own destruction there. There was a, I mean, there's a number of things I did wrong. And, and that's just talking about the things that I know enough about air combat to, to, to notice that I did wrong. There's probably other stuff that I didn't even realize I was doing wrong as I was doing it. Um, sloppy flying, crashed into and took out one of my own teammates who, who was doing reasonably well up to that point as well. And he would have been an asset in that final dogfight against old Nikolay there. Um, 
all those opportunities I had to kill him before I realised how dangerous he was that I just didn't took and went after another target. And in the end, it came back and bit me in the ass. And and I was I was on I was on fire. I was I was absolutely kicking ass, absolutely kicking ass in that game. Until it was just me. <laughs> And a guy who was a better pilot than me, and uh, and that's the way it should be. That's absolutely the way it should be. So, despite the fact that this was one of the most frustrating, in fact, no, not even one of the most frustrating game of War Thunder I've ever played, it's probably still safe to say that it ended the way it should have, and the better pilot won. So, it's difficult to complain. As always, folks, watch your six, and I'll catch you next time.